Hello everybody, I'm Rude Devil. Welcome to Alien Isolation. One of the most scariest games I've ever played. And I played Resi 4 when I was like 5 and that game scared the bejesus out of me. But this game, oh man, this game, I am so impressed by it technically and visually and game play -ly -ly, that's not a word and so terrified by it at the same time it's just really good pro tip these emergency overrides they don't last that long that's not a permanent override there's an override door on both sides of that room i thought i could do that shoot my gun and be all freaking cool and, um, yeah, apparently they open, and the alien will just wait for them to open, and then rip your dick off. So welcome to Alien Isolation. Oh my goodness, I actually haven't played this game in a while, it's just too scary. And I've completely forgotten the passcode, I swear. If, if, I, if I can get this right, if, if I can actually get this right, you can hear the alien by the way. This game is mastered survival horror, and it's really... Ah, oh, shit, what was it? What was it? Does anybody remember? Um, no, this game has mastered survival horror, and the way it's actually done that is because it's realized that... Um, uh, oh, girl, what was the passcode? Should I just come back when I freaking figure this out? Hold on one second. Figured it out, figured it out, I'm a genius. Apparently there it was the answer was in the logs. I actually think I've just forgotten it. We're in! You know, most games, when you actually figure out the code, when you get to the door, it will have the code just imprinted so that you can put it in. You don't have to sip this fucking game. I swear to god it will be the death of me. There he's right there! That's him right there. That's him right there. That's him right there. That's him right there. Thank you, Cypher, for buying me this game. You're such a good friend. Um, but no, uh, what I was saying is the way they've made, the, the way they've done survival horror right in this game is that they've realized that it's not about shoving aliens down your throat. It's more about not knowing where he is. If you know where the source of the, sorry, don't mean my eye. If you know where the source of the terror is, you're not going to be afraid of it because you're just going to ignore it. If you can hear like vents creeping and pipes bursting and you can hear hissing and things like that, you have a general idea, but you're still not really sure. The next thing scarier than that is silence. And this game does a mixture of the two. It does, you can hear shit and then you don't hear shit. And it's scary nonstop. Of course, there are some people they just can't handle it. Because he can literally just pop out at any time. You could achieve an objective and you could be so thrilled with yourself. This thing can even kill you while you're saving. Come on, you cock basket. Um, but no, I'm putting a webcam with this because how can you... I mean, I mean, beer, 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 beer. How can you... How can you not play a scary game? I mean, I'm not even playing it at night. Uh, for... You... Little... You know what? I... If... I'd be roaming around if I was a... Holy fuck! He's actually on the gr... What? He's actually crawling around like a dog trying to sniff you out? He's in the corridors with me! What the fuck? What? He's right there! He's playing with a cone! Why? This is bull crap. Oh my... What am I supposed to do? Oh, what's the crafting in this? That's what's the f that, that that's the thing I should focus on. Where's the crafting button? I've completely forgotten. B, E, Shift, Q, the bat, the Q, flare, revolver, medkit, EMP, mine, smoke bomb, noisemaker. I've completely forgotten how to ah right mouse button. Um, this thing, my computer's having a field trip. Don't know why. The, my fan on my computer is awful, so if you can hear that, that's it just trying to cool itself down. I need to get a new computer. This one was good for a while. 
but playing the next gen of games, it's like, oh. So basically, I'm, I'm in the same vicinity as this bastard, and you have to check every room, not just because, I mean, who gives a shit about flair, but there are really important, um, bu 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 um, you know when I forget words in, like, my Dan videos, <laughs> and all you have to go by is bu bu bum now you actually get to see my face. Um, there are, like, really important, um, uh, blueprints. He's- he's fucking in the halls, people. Come on. I- I'm vulnerable here. And I just have to try my luck. But there are essentially really useful, uh, blueprints. Uh, like EMP bombs and things like that, and noisemakers. Like, if- if you miss the blueprint for the noisemaker, you're sort of in trouble for the rest of the game. Because... I mean, that seems like a pretty useful thing. You could just run it. Yeah, we're looking for Dr. Morley. 829C21, 86. I'm just gonna check every room, so that... I... Oh, actually, we have... This. He's fucking above me. This... How do you use those things? Can I... It just runs out. Like, how do you actually use these things? Stay in the locky, burr. And then close. Okay. Alright, so it says E. You have to hold E to get in. This is what to focus on, by the way. Hi, I'm Reed Devil. Welcome to me playing a game, and I'm trying to tell you how to open a locker. Never mind, forget what I just said. We haven't we haven't attacked him we haven't been attacked by him yet. But this is essentially what the game is. You are so fucking vulnerable. Before this, you, you, you find the alien, it's sort of like a little cutscene. You're supposed to be terrified, you're not, because it's it's a cutscene, you're like, oh, I'm, no, I'm in no danger here, it's not going to kill me straight off the bat. But after that, you fight the working Joes. I mean, they go fucking batshit crazy. That's scary. And then you've got Demon Hands of Death. The Mouth of Sauron's little plaything. Oh, oh, and he can join you in here, by the way. Every time you go in here... Every time you go in here, it's a fucking gamble. Did I not mention that? He could be right up here. If you saw the original alien, you know that the captain actually dies from in, in the vent. And he actually seems remarkably re relaxed about it. He's in a vent with a killer alien thing, and they know it's a killer thing because it just bursts out of some dude's chest. Shit, he's right there. I will draw you, Xenomorph, as poison is drawn from our wound. Goon! I'm having a drink. Fuck this noise. <clears throat> will you stop overheating, stupid laptop? Just, just, just act normal. Stupid fan. I know this is a PS4 game. This is a good computer, but it just goes... And you can really hear that through that mic. I'm pretty sure this mic kind of looks like I'm talking to a giant metal cock, but you just have to deal with that, I'm sorry. So yeah, welcome to Alien Isolation, a genuinely thrilling game because you are so vulnerable and you never really quite know where the fuck this thing is he's going to get me, isn't he? I didn't know he could crawl around like that, I've only ever seen him- <laughs> No, fuck, I'm- um, no, 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 